Sitting here with the pretty Rasta Coco Master. Come on, talk to me nice. <laughs> talk to me nice. <laughs> Not with you. Like How you doing, Brian? I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. Okay, so we just listened to Backstage, yeah. which is off the Juice Bar. Three. Tres. Three. Tres. Treyway. Trois. Treyway. Okay. So let's talk about this because you've got you were just on the show a few months ago, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we talked about all this that mm-hmm, was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Manifesto. And, you know? Manifesto. I love it. It is a vibe. It it's a the vibe. manifestations yeah. for me and, yeah. and you making it happen. Uh-huh. And I'm I'm like impressed too because it was, I thought, you know, you just don't know how long you're going to wait for these things. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, whoop. Bam, like, bam. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like I blinked and you're back on the show, which Come is on, amazing. Blink again. Blink again. Let's go. Here I am. I'm blinking. Let's What's go. happening? <laughs> Oh, actually, let me not blink too much. I, I I'm scared. Yeah, you're yeah, dangerous. Yeah, you I better keep all the eyes open right now while you're in this studio, even if there are other people. Hey, you're in a good space right now. You know I'm definitely. I mean? I, <laughs> She's in a good space, people. It's the glow. It's, it's the, the glow. glow. Listen, mm-hmm. I want to ask you how Tell long me. it's taken for you to Wah. work on this album. Wah. <laughs> Wah. It's, oh. taking too, it's taking too long. This has been my longest. Really? Uh, this take, this has definitely been the album that's taken me the longest to make, or at least to put out. Okay. To put out, it, to make it, it didn't take that long. It was always a vibe making the songs, but to put it out, it was just so much that went into it. There's so much stuff that happens happens behind the scenes, especially the higher. Okay, you well, get. we're listening to backstage, so I think this is yeah, a good time for you to let us know backstage. what happens there's backstage. A there's a lot of chaos okay. that happens backstage, uh-huh. but you know, I'm happy that it's finally out. We dropped it tonight. It's on Boom Play. Um, right now exclusively and um, yeah it's gonna be everywhere else in about what two weeks and uh, yeah I'm, just so, I'm so happy that we're just rolling it out too blessings happy. blessings too so happy. this is really incredible okay first of all y'all really getting it because number one it's only on boom play and the other place you're hearing some of these exclusive tracks is right here right here the hype on the hype believe the hype all right so with okay. that in mind okay. bear that uh you know barack is treating all of us very very special Come right on. now it's that time of the year okay that- how long did it take you to create how long has it taken you to roll this out maybe like two of the songs had me stumped like you know there's, okay. there's on, in music there's always like some songs take like 10 minutes just effortless and then some songs that you're working on they just kind of like they just baffle you, you know, yeah. like it's just, it's, it's, which were the ones that baffled you? I, I, you know, oh, come on, you come on, you gotta tell us. So some, sometimes you just get a cluster, a cl- you just get, you get clustered. I know, I know exactly yeah, what you want to say. So, you want, you want to say cl- yeah, yeah, cluster, cluster, yeah. fudge, cluster fudge, cluster <laughs> fudge, cluster <laughs> so, fudge. Exactly. I'm trying to keep my brand deals. I just got them back. So, uh huh. I'm done. So um, uh-huh. so yeah, there was like two songs that really, that were really tough. Okay. Um, and uh, but usually the rest of them are real quick and easy. But it's just the rollout, you know, how you want to do it, making sure everything's right, all the covers and everything is right, everything's clearance, everything's clear. You know, you're doing something mm-hmm. that a lot of performers are able to do very brilliantly. Mm. It's called deflecting. Mm-hmm. I want to know the damn songs that had you in a cluster <laughs> fudge. Okay, okay. One song was uh, one song was um, was a BN song. Okay. Yeah, BN wrote his verse way faster than me. So we go to the studio that night. He writes it in like 10 seconds. Uh-huh. And that already cluster fudged me already. I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> cluster you know, fudged I thought it takes us at least 10, five minutes. You know, so that you know, so he leaves the studio and I'm just with this incredible song. So yeah. I had it for like three months and I just couldn't get the verse right. Okay. And I actually called Steph Capella. Steph Capella came through. You know, Another me, incredible talent course, that we have course, here. Yes. Of course. So he came through and added his Steph Capella sauce on my verse and helped me, you know, create um, and help me write my... Uh, finish the rest of the song and that song is friday night no? friday night yes. yeah yes. yeah so uh, shout out to steph capella for that one okay yeah, super yeah. sick yeah that must have been so interesting was it your first time writing also the, the camula song was a cluster was that also the other cluster yeah yeah because you know there's so many of them you know not yeah. so many of them <laughs> no, but so many personalities <laughs> yeah. right yeah that's true so I completely to get everybody you. in the studio everybody's schedule was busy everybody's superstar so mm. it was hard that one was tough i was running around like like the manager. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were you were getting a glimpse of what the early uh, oh man, it was early tough. tens looked like. Yeah, yeah, but I would yeah. take it. I would take it. Definitely. They, they gave me a hit. So hey. Yeah. Okay. Super dope. And um, the one with Camp Mula is "Want You Back." You're gonna want be listening back, to that. I want them back. I Aww. feel like I made a love song for them to come back. Oh wow, that's really deep. I like that. Were you a big fan back in the day? Of course. I think of we course. all were. We were all fangirling of hard. Course. And that's when you still lived in the states, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah same. I, it's so funny how. 
like the creative process. It's so mad. And just like the album stuff works. Like you, let me tell you something. This man is energy on energy. And, and Brock still has energy as we are speaking now when he comes into studio. He is dancing for us and rapping for us and making us go. I haven't fall. slept for four months. But you can see it. That's exactly what I say. For the first time ever, I think, in my days of knowing you, in the mm. years that I've known you, mm. I've never seen you look remotely tired. And you look just a little bit like, nah, I'm actually going to skip the party tonight. I can actually use some Z's. Yes, 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 you yes, do yes. not look like yeah, you'd be running. Yeah, yeah, you not you, see, like I'm like a, you see I'm in sweatsuits right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Usually this man would be right out of the interview, it, into studio, and then out to the rave. Yeah, you look. I just look like I'm go, not you're going to you not, you yeah, not I, going you know, I, I think I'm growing up. You're growing up? I think I'm growing up. I think so, too. And there's nothing good for you outside. There's nothing good. <laughs> I, I've been going outside, and nothing good happens for me out there. Um. Okay, yeah. obviously, there's a body snatcher yeah. because this isn't Barack talking. You I need to know who's here. You body. You end up on <laughs> uh, Clinton's calling me. My management's calling me. saying, what have you done? Nah, uh, this, song. this so, is wild. I've never, ever you know, heard right you talk now, like this Right before. now, we're in promo. We got an album out, so let's get the album out. Let's let the endorsements and the brands come in, and then we can wall out. You What's think? cool is that means you must be working tirelessly to make sure that this project really gives. Oh no, tirelessly, and it's, it's already crazy. giving. But yeah. I, I can tell that you want to make sure that you are really giving to your people, your supporters. Oh, for sure, because it's been a minute. It's been a minute, and you know, that's my, also true. My fans have been really pissed at me lately. I'd be in, I'd be like out in public, and yeah. they're like, "Yo, what's up, man?" Like, yeah. they're not even trying to say hi these days. So. <laughs> I'm really just trying to put this out so we can all be good. I hope me and now me and my fans we we hash it out and we good. They got the music and it's good, so I'm happy. Well, good music is coming, so don't worry. You are gonna be able to kumbaya with this man. Let's get back into Casilla's mix. The Juice Bar 3 is out. It's better than ever. And you better be listening on Boom Play in two weeks. It'll be out everywhere, everywhere. right? Yeah, yeah, whatever you prefer. Yeah, all yeah. streaming services. So make sure that you get involved. It's going to be super duper dope. In fact, in two weeks, the deluxe album is dropping. Yeah, so yeah. it's, it's going to so be super gonna be duper juice. Sick. It's going to be more juice, yeah. basically. So, um, you know, I, it's so funny listening to, like, Shapa. Yeah. Because I know how like close you guys are yeah and then you also do a podcast together yeah we, with we were, ryan we were working on one it's, it's been hard it's been hard you know he's been, i wanted to ask how that's going he's been all over the place you okay. know everybody's always so busy man especially when you know the holidays yeah just finishing so now everybody's just kind of getting their their balance back right so we might we might get back to it but um it was definitely something that we worked on and it's a lot harder mm. than people think i mean definitely me shopper and brian are like three different planets yeah in one room so it was tough but I, uh, but we definitely are gonna make do- dope content together what is it like working with friends for you is it fun or is it stressful i guess it depends on the friend right what's it like working with shopper with shopper uh podcast I, and now you've got this I love, song i love i love working with shopper but you know with shops you know you gotta just be ready to you know he you know he wants to be the alpha <laughs> okay. but i'm the alpha so okay. now there's just two alphas you know in the uh-huh. room and so and we handle things so differently but two we, massive uh, dobermans yeah huh? yeah exactly you uh. know but, but but at the end of the day we make incredible content and incredible product comes out of it mm-hmm. so no matter if i'm in a good mood or a bad mood you know i'm always happy making good stuff out of it so yeah Who's a friend that you work with that you think is really fun and virtually fun to stress-free? Work with. Yeah. Fun to work with. Virtually stress-free. Fu- Sean Preezy. Okay. Sean Preezy's really good to work with in the studio. Okay. If we're doing like, uh, you know, podcast type vibes or we're like hosting an event. Always smiles. Shout out mm-hmm. to Sean Preezy. Yeah, he's one of the best people to work with. Okay, yeah. super epic. Who's one of the most stressful? Shopper. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I just knew that For was going to sure. be the answer. I For sure. It's an easy answer. Okay, okay. Yeah. At least you keep it in 100. That's my brother. That's my brother. No, of course, of course. That's no, there's definitely. no there's no disrespect here. It's all love. Oh, no, respectfully. He's the worst. Respe- the worst. <laughs> <laughs> he's the, respectfully. Respectfully, he's, he's the terrible. worst. Okay, hashtag <laughs> respectfully. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, you know, you tend to have a feel-good vibe. Yeah. And, and so, I feel like with all your projects... Mm-hmm. It's always been been feel good vibes. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So I do want to ask, what's the 
the bigger meaning. It, mm-hmm. and, uh, let me not even go into the bigger go meaning. Crazy, that says, go crazy. Is there? Is there? They're all feel good songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How would you describe your current album, Juice Bar Three, and 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 what is the inspiration behind it? Well, Juice Bar Three, you know, that was like it's a continuation of what was happening at the time, right? So okay. these are pretty much a it's almost like a compilation album because a lot of these songs were made in different times and they wasn't all made at one go. Okay. So Juice Bar Three is just a compilation of a whole bunch of great times all in one. I didn't I didn't really I don't think I put any sad songs on here or anything. I really went too deep. But maybe on the deluxe, we might throw one on there. But I know for my next project, I've been really... You know, for me, it's so hard. I find it so hard to go deep. Like, okay. You know, my fans tell me all the time, like, yo, Barack, we want you to go deep. We want to hear some some messed up things. We want to hear, yeah. hear your trauma. Like, you would think that you never yeah. have problems or yeah. go through heartache yeah. or have sad days. Know, to be I really know. honest. I'm like, from the Juice Bar, which was 2017. Yeah. Coco Season EP. Juice Bar 2 LP 2018. Yeah. Both of the other two were 2017. Yeah. Now, uh, Freshly Squeezed is what we chatted about yeah. last time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we're in 2022. We're getting Juice Bar 3. And I'm like, your O is the fun guy. Yeah, yeah. You're who everyone like turns to when I'm, they want their frown turned upside down. I'm working, I'm working on getting into my sad bag. Because okay. I have a sad side. I'm a sad guy. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad. You know, it's true. So I'm just trying to figure out how can I verbalize this. What you mean you're a sad guy? I want us to expound on this for a moment. I'm an emotional butterfly. You're emo? I'm an emotional dude. Like, like, as much as, like, I love, like, I I like being, like, as much as hype I can be, that's how sad I can be. Okay, okay, okay. I do everything on an extreme level. Mm. So, yeah, when I'm happy, I'm really happy. When I'm sad, I'm actually quite crushed. Okay. So yeah, but but now to put that in a musical form, I find that so hard for me. Okay. Like everybody says, you know, well not everybody, but everybody says like, do it, do it, do it, do it. But I just find it so hard, so much easier said than done. Okay. But for my next project, I'm working with a lot of great writers mm-hmm. and musicians, and the way we're gonna make this next album, I'm so excited to make it. I'm gonna really get in my sad bag. So okay, okay. Give me some, give me some, some content. Oh, you want me to make you sad? Make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How sad? <laughs> Why is your face like cry. that? I'm you, to, I'll make you cry. Don't worry. I'm, tra- I'm talking about Netflix <laughs> drama sad. <laughs> Netflix drama sad? Yeah. All right. Stay tuned, guys. It's definitely coming up. Stay tuned. We're about to get sad We're about to get sad in here. We're going from hype to sad, all right? It's, it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a vibe regardless. When are we going to see you on stage, Barack? Oh, man. I mean, um, well, we got some shows coming up now with this album rollout. Okay. So we got to finalize the dates, but it was definitely going to be like from now until until the end of the year. We're Barack Jacuzzi and Friends, when are we going to see that oh, happening? Yeah, that's next month. Next month we're going to do Barack Jacuzzi and Friends. going to be the album release party as well. Happening um, in March. Barack Jacuzzi and Friends have uh, turned into be quite a a vibe over the years. Yeah. And so I can't wait to um start it back. It's been like, what, maybe a year and a half, two years? Like, since Corona, really. Right, right. And yeah, it's been kind of hard, but I think yeah, like now that yeah, we've gotten, yeah. you know, back into some with sort of normalcy. Virus, yeah. 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 <laughs> It was, it was coming out here yeah. with violence. Yeah, yeah so. but now I think it's going to be safe and it's going to be fun and you're going to get the crowd and the turnout that you uh, usually nah, get. For sure, for sure. It's always a vibe. So I, and, and I'm always having events. Um, I got the UV room happening at the end of this month on the 19th. That's next weekend. Okay. Um, So come to that at Muse. And um, yeah, man, I'm always doing different gigs. So pull up on the boy. But yeah, definitely. Karaoke Wednesdays is so much fun with him. Always, always. So we don't fun. care if you can't sing. That's the best part. So Literally. Pull up, man. A couple drinks and you, you know. Hey, I, even I won't be able to care. <laughs> even I won't. Yeah, even I won't it's a pretty judge-free zone, yeah, guys. It's, it's, it's a, a pretty judge-free zone. It's a safe space. It's a safe space for yeah. sure. I've I've seen it get I've seen it get buck wild. Okay, super sick. So there's so much to look forward to. Please tell us where we can follow you. All your handles. Follow me at Barat Jacuzzi on all social media platforms. That's at Barat Jacuzzi. If you see another Barat Jacuzzi and it ain't got that blue tick, then you know it's not me, baby. You gotta let them know that you verify. Come on, come on, you baby. verify. Hey, That's hey, why you wearing blue. Hey, hey, That's why you wearing blue today. Hey, you know. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing blue because you're feeling blue? I'm going outside. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody take this. I'm, I'm turning off your mic. Before I do, though, I do want to ask, what was your favorite line, like, bar off of Juice Bar 3? I'm going to the store. What you need, baby? I really got the sauce and the cheese, baby. <laughs> Is she the best? I'm just not hard to please, baby. She throw it back like long white tees, baby. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Sometimes I don't know. Is she the best? Or am, <laughs> or am I, I just not hard that to hard to please? I loved that line too. And then you were singing it live in studio before when it was playing. Casilla was playing it. And I was cracking up because you sat down in disbelief. 
I couldn't and you, believe and you how truly, hard you, it was. Yeah, you truly could not believe that you were the G who wrote that. Wow. And you just go, damn. Damn, yo. That was hard as hell. It's true. I he did. like really, he was really flabbergasted. I had an out of body experience. Self. Yeah, you did. I, did. I watched it. I, I watched it live, and it you will spiritual. too, because this is gonna be on hyped on YouTube. Because I've died. I really watched that, and then that's when we got into that. You're psychotically, bars, yes, yep. and also like being psychotically, oh, oh yeah. you know, hyping um, yourself. Hyping yourself. Nobody else, everybody else in the room is just watching me turn up to my own song, and then she's like, "Wow, you really are your own hype man." I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I pay myself too." It's a real thing. Come it's on. a real you thing. You must do. You must. Everybody, you must. If you leave with anything today, go listen to my music and be psychotically, you know, um, hype about your own stuff. Yes, I like that. Even Be- if you don't deserve it, believe you your deserve. own hype. You gotta believe your own hype. Otherwise, nobody else is gonna believe it. That's right. Nobody. You ain't lied. Machiavelli Joe said, "Big up Barack Jacuzzi. I would love to work for a collabo with him." Oh, come on, talk to me. Are you open to stuff like that? I'm open. I'm open for all collabos, man. 2022, I just want to work. I just want to put out product. Like, I don't want to hold any music. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hold any ideas, like whether it's YouTube or this podcast. Because mm-hmm. usually, I have so many ideas, and I'm always trying to be so calculated. Right. But right now, I'm just kind of you know put out into the universe, and I've seen, I've seen, I found that that's when most of the best stuff happens when you just do True. it. True. Even if you just if even if you you have nothing to do with what's happening, if you just show up to certain places and you just in the area in the space where mm-hmm. things are happening. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna start to unfold. So that's what I'm doing this year. We're just going for it. And like we said, you've been manifesting and it's working. Come on, CJ's breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yo, Barack, thank you so much for coming on here, you crazy human. Ooh. And we can't wait for the whole uh, deluxe album to come out so we can yes. get everything. I'll be back again. Yo, like, yo. I gotta stop prolonging this album. I'm just like coming for back real. to song. And then... <laughs> We love you, though. We love having you because you're a vibe. You're energy for days. You. you are hype. You, so you, you fit on Believe the Hype. Believe the Hype. Moreover, mm-hmm. it'll be very exciting to see your, um, you know, the album release, to see you back on stage doing the thing. So do your thing. Oh, it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a vibe. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right. If you want to follow Barack, then you got to follow him at Barack Jacuzzi. Come on. It's, it's, say my name again. <laughs> Just say my name. Barack Jacuzzi. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I am done with you it. heard that, Joe? Casilla was literally in his model pose trying to take yeah. a picture, and he like he burst into laughter. <laughs> All right, just so y'all know how hard we're laughing out here because this man is not real life.com. But this is IRL. This is in real life. This is just crazy old Barack. Look, if you want to get them baby hairs like Barack got, make sure you're using that Ashanti Q Natural. They've got all sorts of amazing products ranging from Ashanti Q Natural Sulfate-Free Shampoo, Moisture Lock Conditioner.